Hi friends, David from Learn Stage Lighting and Above AVL. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why do my lights fade up from white when I do color cues in Onyx? This is one of those questions that we see a lot, both from new users and more experienced, where you kind of bang your head against the wall. And so what I'm gonna show you is how this isn't, this is a problem that you can run into in other lighting consoles as well, where it comes from, and most importantly, how to fix it. Let's dive in. Most often in Onyx, you might notice if you just go ahead, for example, and you grab some LED fixture, um, I'm in the demo show file, and so you've got these, these fuse wash Z350s, right? And you just go ahead and quick turn them on, give them a color, right? And we're gonna build a cue out of this. So they just turn on, go to red, hit record, right? And play it back, okay? What you want in this cue more often than not is that you hit play, and the lights fade up and they're red, right? But what actually happens? Um, you probably saw it there on the visualizer. If you didn't, um, we'll just play it again and look a little bit closer. Okay, same thing happens when I stop it, is you see, you know what? Like they start out kind of like this weird pastel pink as they start fading in and then they slowly move to red. What's going on? Like, why does Onyx do this super annoying thing? Well, simply put, you know, it's got to do something. So let's walk through how this happens. I'm going to show you, first of all, how, why it happens, and then how to program more effectively so that you get the result you want. So the reason why this happens is pretty simple. Onyx, like most other lighting consoles, was designed and the software was initially built without LEDs in mind. Like, you had conventional lights when the software came out, you had moving lights with white sources that were discharge lamps or, or what have you, but you really didn't have color mixing LEDs. When they came along, the console manufacturers had to figure out and, and continually figure out the best way to deal with an LED source, which is inherently much different than a white source fixture. Okay, so I mean a color mixing LED source when I say LED source, something with that generates color, but really it's an intensity color channel, right? Like if I grab this, this Fuse Z350, <clears throat> sure it has an intensity overall, but these color channels are all intensity of the color, right? It's different than a fixture like the Artiste Da Vinci that has CMY color mixing where you start at white and you subtract light, right? Until RGB LEDs hit the scene in stage lighting and I first encountered them, you know, 08, 09, every fixture was a subtractive color mixing fixture, right? Where, you know, it was either a white source and you had a gel in it so you wouldn't have control of color from the console, or if you had control of color from the console, it was most definitely a white source that you subtracted from. In that case, you know, you have one intensity, which is the brightness of the white up and down, and then you have color, which subtracts. LEDs, ones that color mix, are completely opposite. So just as an example, if I turn all four of these channels off and I turn the light on, nothing happens, okay? And then I have the intensity of the color channels, right? And so how does this apply? Why does this cause this issue? Well, in a console like Onyx, they want you to be able to, and notably it makes your programming much more effective, to grab a fixture, hit at full, and you get light, okay? Because of this, the default values for LED fixtures that have RGB mixing LED fixtures, you know, and of course, amber, mint, lime, UV, whatever, you know, those type of fixtures that have an intensity channel, the default setting is going to be, if I select the light, I'll, it'll show you that the color channels are all at full and the intensity is down, okay? So that you can come along and hit at full and you get output from the light at full. The problem occurs then when you build a queue and everything fades in at the queue's fade time, right? 
everything fades up. So as you're fading that intensity, you're also fading color. So how do we fix it? There are a variety of ways to fix it. One is through default. If we don't have a video on default here, we definitely do inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs where we teach every step of Onyx, everything in it updated to the latest software version. Check out that. We totally have a free trial. You can check it out. Dive deep into all the free videos, see what we have to offer there. Link below for Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Okay, but uh, you can change the defaults. So you could go in, and some people do this, put the colors to zero, and maybe put the intensity to full, record that as the new default. I'm just gonna go quick and stick it in a scratch queue and play that queue so that the fixture's at that value, right? Because if I have that running in default or just in a queue that's in the background, now if I go and I assign a color and I record it, now I get what I want, right? Boom. The lights come up, they come to full, they come to color. The downside to that approach, of course, is that if I have them, I have that cue running, it's giving them intensity. I take these lights and I hit at full, it's not gonna do squat unless there's a cue playing with color. So that can trip you up, but at least it's better than having the default set to zero color, zero intensity, right? And then you hit at full and you get literally nothing. It, and then you would have to do intensity and color. At least in this case, you just have to define a color and they'll turn on, right? It's like working with a fixture that doesn't have an intensity channel or a virtual dimmer assigned in Onyx. There are some more elegant ways to deal with it too on a cue by cue basis. Of course, it's worth noting that if you're keeping color and intensity separate in different cues, this generally isn't a problem. However, you can also go and use the delay and fade time per parameter in Onyx to fix this, right? So I can do the same thing I did before. Intensity at full. So actually, let me stop this cue just to show you. So intensity is at, oh, sorry, this cue running. So intensity is at zero, right? So I take that to full and put that in the cue. Same thing I did with the first example, only red on. The difference, however, is that I'm gonna go here and hit fade, color, and this works on a console great too, not just on the PC, it's just easier to screen capture on a PC. Okay, so fade, color, then it has an at, I'll hit zero, enter. In my programmer, now there's a zero fade time on the color channels, intensity still has the normal default fade time, in this case, two and a half seconds. Let's record that, okay? All those other cues are stopped. We hit play and we get exactly what we're looking for. You can also, if you're within a cue list, you can use the move in black or mark functionality, which we also go into detail on inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. You're welcome to check that out, check the Onyx manual, etc. But hopefully you learned something new today. Honestly, sometimes the biggest headache is just, you know, realizing that, hey, You've got a cue that's doing this thing where you get these weird pastel-y colors when it fades in and you just need to fix it. And understanding where that's coming from and why you're getting that is really often enough and then you can work around it. It's not a bug, it's, it's totally just, you know, you have to deal with different types of fixtures that mix and work in different ways and you have to deal with them in different ways. And I hope you learned a lot from this today. If you did, be sure to subscribe Check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs again for the full in-depth A to Z tutorials on pretty much every darn feature in Onyx, always kept up to date with the latest software versions. And when you need Onyx gear, if you're in the US or where you need any lighting or AVL gear as a whole, check us out. We are Above AVL. Our store is at aboveavl.com. We love to help people. We love to be super nice and our clients love us and we want you to be one of our clients too. So, you know, ditch those other e-commerce sites. You know, if you don't have a dealer that you love for your lighting and AV gear, come to us. We're going to be that dealer to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.